tic-tac-toe, so we'll start by importing NumPy. Then we're going to create a NumPy array that we'll call board. And we'll start with zeros, as in we haven't gone there yet. It'll be three by three. And we're going to do as type integers, because each player is going to be an integer. And what we can do is start our game loop. But before we do that, we'll say turn is one, as in player one's turn. Then we'll say move equals nine, because there are nine moves. So while move is still greater than zero, so while the game has not ended yet in the draw, or I guess a nine move win, then we can first print the board so we know where we're at. Then what we should do is we should write a function called play turn. And this is where we actually play the turns. And we're going to need to import NumPy as NP. And we'll say define play turn. And first thing we want to do is get an X and a Y turn. So I'll say X equals integer of the input of what is and then we'll do an F string. So player, player turns X turn or position, I guess. And what we need to do is make an F string and say F. And I'm going to copy and paste this for the Y. So every turn is going to have an X and a Y position. And so that's how you're going to be able to tell the game where we want to go based on the 3x3 three three board. So the two things we need to check to make sure that there's no index error so we don't give it a position outside of the 3x3. Three three. So to do that, we'll use a try, try and accept. And another thing we have to do is we're going to have to check if the board position has not been played yet. So it needs to be yx based on the way it prints out, not xy. But if this equals 0, then we can go ahead and play this move. So yx equals turn so the player has gone there else we can just recursively ask for play turn again so that way we can uh just kind of keep asking for it until we get a legal move so same thing with except index error we'll keep asking for it until we get a legal move and then we'll run play turn again great so after that we're gonna have to also check for success so we can say if check win then we can print and we'll write check win in a sec. We'll say f string here, f player turn has one, and close out the string. Another thing we should do is break. If this does not happen, then we need to flip turn. So if turn equals turn times negative one. We could have said times equals. And then we also need move equals move minus one. But I just want to spell it out. We can also do minus equals. And if check win, undefined name check win. So let's go ahead and make the check win function. So define check win. So the idea being if one player is player one and the other player is player negative one, then if we just sum up a row or sum up a diagonal or a column and it equals three or negative three, then the game is over. So we can say if any of np.sum of the board one equals three, so this is going to check the horizontal win or any of np.sum of board zero. So this is going to check the vertical win equals three or check diagonal win. So sum of np.diag. And if this equals, you guessed it, three or we need to check the anti-diagonal. So or sum of np. Sorry, it's not just np.diag. We're going to need to say of the board, of course sum of np.diag of the board slice to be flipped, which is going to end up being the same as the, the anti-diagonal equals three. Then we'll return, return true. And yeah, same thing for the uh, negative three. And I'm sure there's a better way to handle this, but that's okay. And I think this is going to make it very, very clear to you guys what exactly is going on. Negative three here, negative three here, and then negative three here. So let's go ahead and also say that if nobody is one, we should probably return false. And we have a fully working game of tic-tac-toe. So let's go ahead and play a little bit of tic-tac-toe here. So player one went here. I'm going to go in the middle. Player negative one went in the middle. And I'm going to make me really bad at this game just to show you the mechanics of it. And player one is one.